think the, the main motivation with what we're doing at Grocer is that you can really see the impact of what you're doing. So we get to work with customers all the time where, you know, getting to work with Grocer is actually not only a complete change of lifestyle for them, but it's impacting their entire community. My name is Corey Ellis, I'm the co-founder and CEO of The Grocer. My name is Alita Burke and I'm the co-founder and COO at Grocer. It definitely wasn't easy to start, but um, we learned a lot along the way. So it was a volunteer organization, so every reading week we went up to learn more about food insecurity in Northern Canada. Alita and I were working uh, with a student club on campus at the Telfer School. Uh, we went up to Nunavut as part of that and got to see sort of the high food prices in the north. We stayed there for about a week to two weeks at a time, uh, and then we just started to iterate on this idea of what what would happen if you were able to grow food locally rather than having to ship it up from southern Canada. And so with that we learned about hydroponics and what you could do growing locally. And that's where Grocer started. And so uh, the problem that we're solving today is still the same, although now we're doing it far outside our original uh, goal of just doing it in the north. Basically you're giving the plants everything that they need to grow within a controlled indoor environment, so lights, CO2, nutrients and water, um, but without having the soil in, in the ground. So in a retrofitted 40-foot shipping container, uh, we grow food uh, 365 days of the year. You plug it in and you're ready to grow food. <laughs> the seeds start their life here in these seedling racks, so they spend about two weeks uh, growing from seed to sprout and then we transplant them into the main growing room. We have everything in here app controlled and so the entire environment within a grocer is checked every four seconds and we have this app that allows us to monitor and control the entire environment and be able to check from it uh, from anywhere in the world. The people that were at Telfer were such an amazing group of people that were inspiring and really hardworking, and that really made it so that we could make it into reality and, and just the opportunities and the extracurricular activities through Enactus and other opportunities we were able to travel the world and, and be able to really build our business so it was really exciting. So Enactus is a worldwide organization that operates in countries all around, uh, all around the world and across Canada and it's a student-led organization that uses the power of entrepreneurship and business to help solve social problems. So about two years ago, we decided to look at the University of Ottawa not only as the place where we, you know, our alma mater where we, we came to school, but also as a potential customer opportunity. Uh, so we started engaging with the school at the staff level and, and wanted to understand their needs from a food perspective and what challenges they had and realized that the solution we developed could actually be applied on campus to their cafeteria. Some of the things I personally benefited from uh, at Telfer was specifically a lot of the uh, interpersonal skills. So we had a lot of opportunities to pitch in front of hundreds to thousands of people. You know, business is this, is this um, you know, skill set that isn't learned in a classroom. And I think what I really appreciated a part of the business school was that it was ingrained with applying those skills right away. So you don't wait to graduate or wait till your co-op term to go out and get experience. You have opportunities within the school to actually do that day to day. I think I knew that with my degree here at Telfer, I wanted to do something impactful and with a purpose. And so I think that's really what pushes me to do what I do every day, to know that I'm making a difference in someone's life somewhere in Canada and hopefully around the world.